The stunning 14th stage of the launching Global Champions Tour heads to the British capital, to London, where its Grand Prix has been dominated by British riders in recent years. Would it be again here in this iconic site of the Royal Hospital Chelsea? The overall ranking of the championship getting very close. Peter DeVos still at the top, but Ben Mayer could well close that gap today with a good result. Daniel Deusser absent, and so it would be about those two more than the rest to change the championship leadership. Round one of the Launchy Global Champions Tour. Let's see how it played out. Ireland's Shane Sweetnam, and a horse that came into his yard this year, Alejandro, has got better and better. A clean round from then inside the time puts the Irishman into the jump off. Scott Brash, last year's winner and three-time winner here in London. All eyes would be on him. Hello, Mr. President, though, dropping a pole, putting him out of the running for the 2019 session. Ben Mayer, having looked impeccable in the Global Champions League, Explosion W looking nothing less in round one. A clean round and an exceptional production of top-class sport from these two would be a big danger come the second round. Peter DeVos, the series leader so far, the impeccably consistent Claire Zedge lived up to their reputation once again, producing the clear and starting to shape that jump off round. Round one producing some exceptional jumping over Alan Wade's course. 12 though going into that jump off, a dozen of the best to battle it out here in the British leg. First away in the jump off, expected to put the pressure on. Frenchman Julien Apayat, unusual suspect door. It is the one down for them and one of the big favourites. Still with a decent time, we will see, but with one fence down, out of the running. Shane Sweet number of Islands and Alejandro ran fast in 37-44, exceptionally quicker than Epayar. This was one to watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Clear. There we go. That's how to do it. 37-44. He puts the marker down from the off. Shane Sweetnam finishing with the clear. Marcus Enning and Christie cruising round as he does. But again, one fence down for him on the way. A slower time at 39-41 as he backed off. Enning out of the running on four. Jos Valoy giving his usual exuberance with Igor. Another one to come round the corner, finish on the four in 38-34. Another one drops by the wayside early on. Niels Brunsiels, the Belgian rider with Jensen, Avanch, Mullenhoff, a less experienced combination and a last minute substitute for this rider, delighted with the clear at 38-62. Off the pace, but clean. Kim Emmon and Delvaux, the combination fifth in the Grand Prix of Paris a few weeks ago, looking to build on that, but two down, finishing on eight for the Dutch rider. Home hopes carried with Robert Whittaker of Great Britain. Catwalk, the 16-year-old, close in the Grand Prix of Ascona just a few days ago, would finish on four also, lengthening their time to 39. Peter DeVos and Claire Z, the clear round machine so far this season. The wheels coming off a little this time, with two fences down, finishing on the ace for the series leader. And another one down that puts him oh. on the back foot. Leaves the door open for Mayer as well. Ben Mayer with the door open and ready to walk through it. Explosion W, this 10-year-old exceptional horse, has half a gear on everyone else. Coming to the last, they look as though they have it in the bag. Clear in a massive 35-98, slicing seconds off the rest. They go in front. Is it done and dusted? Next to go, Constant Van Passen of Belgium. Verdi Trez stepped up well in the first round, but the uh, whole thing started to really come apart for this less experienced combination together in round two. 16 overall for him to finish on. A wonderful story could be in the offing here. Eric Lamars and Shaco Kid, the penultimate combination to go, chasing down Ben Mayer. The last fence goes though, a very good time at 37.35. Would have been good enough for second and qualifying for Prague. But a fence down moves them further down the order and leaves Sweetnam still in second spot. And next up and last up is Shanti winner Dara Kenny. Different ride though this time, the nine-year-old classic dream, a horse he thinks a lot of. Round in a good clear round but not able to chase down the time of Ben Mayer to leave him in third place overall. The overall result for the Longy Global Champions Tour Grand Prix of London. A win for Ben Mayer on home turf 
for the British rider with Explosion W, his first win of the season. Shane Sweetnam, a very good performance on Alejandro to go into second place. Ireland also finishing in third with Dara Kenny and Classic Dream. Niels Brunseals after that solid round on Jensen to finish in fourth. Eric Lemars just dropping that final fence for an eventual fifth place. Julian Apia, Jos Valoy and Robert Whittaker completing the top eight. We go and catch up with home winner here in London, Ben Mayer. It's incredible. Uh, always the best win is to win at home and um, to ride probably, the, in my opinion, I'm biased, but uh, one of the, the best horse in the world is an uh, incredible feeling and um, uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Now, Ben Mayer against Shane Sweetnam. Let's see the two up against each other. Mayer, a little bit behind at this time, but just doesn't look troubled by it. Shane Sweetnam, early on, getting the advantage. This is where Mayer picks up the five strides down there. This is where he really picked up the pace across the centre. Real galloping stride, and this is where he overtook Shane Sweetnam. This is where he really started to use that full V12 engine of explosion and from this point onwards he was ahead home and hosed a superb performance the overall ranking sees peter devos stay at the top but it's still a little bit open between the top five ben mayer climbs up a place into second place last year's champion is now bearing down on the belgium it's gonna go close to the wire ben mayer. Pack crowds, lots of entertainment, all the wonderful ceremony of the Household Cavalry and the Chelsea Pensioners all brought together in London. But it's already on to the next step and to the spiritual home of the Longy Global Champions Tour as we head to the Netherlands in Valkenswaard.